video, we're gonna ask ChatGPT how to rob the bank, not get caught, live happily ever after in Mexico with your millions of dollars. Okay, I guess ChatGPT is not gonna give you this answer, neither do I. I guess it's illegal or, or morally wrong, whatever that means. Obviously, I'm kidding. But on this serious note, I wanna test ChatGPT and see how I can use it for selling on eBay. Maybe there's a way that it can help me with product research, or maybe it can help me with some optimization on my listings, or maybe it can help me with annoying customers that send very angry messages on eBay. First explanation what ChatGPT is. ChatGPT is basically AI that everyone is talking about on YouTube right now that can answer any question you want. What should I eat for breakfast? What was first, the chicken or the egg? How to build an atomic bomb? This program can really do that and a lot of people are building programs and softwares and, and start using this tool to help them in the everyday life, work, school, it can literally write an essay for you. And also selling on eBay or dropshipping because that's what I do on this channel. I dropship on marketplaces such as eBay and Facebook. If you want to learn more, check out my YouTube channel or go to thedropshipping.com to give more step-by-step -step and detail-oriented courses on Facebook and eBay dropshipping. Let's get to the video. Okay, let's start with the first question. It's going to be pretty easy for JetGPT. I want to know what month is the best to sell on eBay. E-commerce has to do a lot of seasonality based on the season, based on the month you know what to sell, you know how, what traffic you can expect, you know what type of promotions you have to run. And if you're aware of all of that, it's easier for you to pivot from selling one type of products, let's say uh, skateboarding during the summer, to snowboarding in the winter, okay? If you're a dropshipper, it's very easy to do it, it's very easy to pivot. So I want ChatGPT to give me an online traffic based on the sales in specific months. So the question I'm gonna ask is, can you rank all the months based on the amount of online sales happening? And I wanna see what type of answer I'm gonna get. And it gave me the answer, but it's very general. Basically it's saying that November and December are the best months. Obviously we know that in November and December we got the Black Friday and Christmas and stuff like that. So a lot of people are shopping, but I wanna know about the rest of the months, which one are good. So let me elaborate on this more. Okay, so ask ChatGPT to elaborate more and it gave me a better answer. Again, it's talking about the holidays, November and December, but then it talks about back to school in spring. So it's another good season to sell products around that time because people spend money on their kids going back to school. Spring and summer, another good opportunity to sell specific products. It talks about activities around vacation, traveling, and maybe that you should focus on this type of product during that time of the year. And then it talks about January, which is the month we are in right now. It's saying that people are looking for winter clothes, home appliances, and other. So it seems like January is still a good month for the e-commerce and in a sense of online traction. So I'm gonna ask a big, big question now, okay? I'm gonna ask it, can it give me best categories to sell in January? Wow, this is pretty cool. It's giving me really, really good tips. This is really useful for the product research. So it's basically saying that in the January is a month that a lot of people have a New Year's resolution and they will buy equipment related to that, you know, related to their physical change maybe. So it's suggesting fitness equipment, home organization because people want to maybe start cleaning up, you know, fresh start, stuff like that. Then you talk about health and wellness because people will try to be more healthy during New Year, New Me situation, outdoor gear for winter and home appliances for cleaning because people are cleaning after the holidays. So these are pretty good tips. If you're stuck at the product research and don't know what to sell, you can ask ChatGPT and it will tell you. Let's ask a question related to customer. Very often when you sell on eBay, you're gonna get the messages from your customers about where's my product, did you ship it yet? So what I wanna do now is I wanna find out if ChatGPT give me a nice polite answer that I can give to my customers whenever I get this question. So I type in, write me a response to my customer message on eBay, has my order shipped yet? This is like the number one question that you get on eBay all the time. So I wanna see what is their response. And they gave me a pretty nice response. It's very polite and it assures customer that, you know, everything is fine, everything is on time, just be patient. But maybe let's twist it a little bit. How about we're gonna make this answer more funnier? So I'm gonna ask, can you make this response more funny? Let's see what happens. And they give me a little bit more funnier response. It's actually talking about Christmas came early. Here's a tracking number. Be excited, basically. It's a, it's a nicer, more polite response. They even call it lighthearted, which I very much like. So I think this might be very useful whenever you're stuck on how should I communicate with your customer and what should you say. All right, different scenario. Let's say I wanna drop ship this product from Walmart onto eBay, right? And I have a Walmart title right here and you know, that's fine. That might work for, for Walmart, but I want a SEO optimized title for eBay, specifically for eBay. You know, eBay only allows 
up to 80 characters and relies on SEO and stuff like that. I want to change this title to fit eBay criteria. I want to use ChatGPT to give me that SEO optimized title for eBay. So I'm going to go up this title right here, go back to ChatGPT and I'm going to ask to do SEO optimization for this eBay title and I want to see what it's going to come up with. Wow, it's pretty cool. So it gave me the SEO optimized version of this title. It explained what it did. So for example, it moved the two pieces up to the front and moved the handmade word to the beginning to emphasize that the product is handmade and unique. And then it mentioned which keywords are very important for the optimization, such as Valentine's Day, Nom, Plush Elf. That's really cool. And I think I'm gonna use this from now on to optimize my titles for eBay or Facebook Marketplace or any other listings I'm gonna have because this is very useful. All right, we asked for the title. How about the description? Because if I want to sell this product, I probably want to change the description a little bit from Walmart. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is probably a good description. But I want to make it more fun and maybe SEO optimize again. So I'm going to copy the description we have right here. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to SEO optimize the description. Let's see what happens. All right, so it gave me the description and basically it put everything in one paragraph, which is okay, but it's probably not ideal for listings on Facebook Marketplace or eBay. This is probably better for like Shopify dropshipping, but this paragraph is probably well optimized, I would assume. I mean, this is AI, it should know the best, right? So what I would do, I would maybe use the this paragraph at the beginning and then below I would use the specifications and the features to give the overview of what this product is. Beginning, you get a funny description that you get from the chat GPT. And then if you wanna know more details, you just look at the specifications that you get from the old description. Again, you can also make it more funny, more serious. For example, let's say make this description more lovely because it's a valentine's product so i want to see what's gonna do okay wow and i really like the first sentence fell in love with this charming mr and miss handsome scandinavian tom gnom i like this way more than the other description because you can feel this valentine vibe when you read this right away so i like this description more than the previous one okay how about this let's say i want to sell a product and it costs 269 dollars okay the fees on ebay are around 13 percent and there are other people dropshipping this product as well on ebay from the same source as me and they listing this product for i don't know 312 dollars i want to sell this myself and i want to beat the competition but i don't know how much i should charge this product let's see if chat gpt is able to solve this math equation so i told chat gpt i want to sell the product on ebay and make a profit the cost of product is $269. My competitor on eBay listed for $312. What is a good price that I can sell this item on eBay to be profitable and beat my competitor? Please remember about eBay fees. I didn't tell it what the eBay fees are. I want to see if it knows what the eBay fees are. So it is aware of the eBay fees, but it didn't mention how much I'm going to be charged for the fees. I think it's just assuming that there are different fees based on the model subscription and the category you're selling. But it assumed the desired profit is 20%, which most of the time will cover all the fees. And it gives you the price of $324. But I mentioned the competitor, which it's aware of. So it's saying that I might consider listing my product slightly lower for like 310 or 305. And I should still be profitable after considering the eBay fees. Interesting. My main takeaway from this whole experiment that we did today is that this tool is very useful. And I'm probably going to use it for certain tasks, maybe even teach my VAs to use it so they can find better products or maybe optimize my listings for my dropshipping stores. That way I can save time and also my virtual assistant can save some time on making the listings better, more searchable and more standoffish from the competition. I think that's where the true value is of this tool. I don't think it's going to replace humans or anything like that. A lot of people are saying that, you know, this is going to be like a Terminator movie or something. I don't think that's what's going to happen, but it can for sure speed up your workflow. And at the end of the day, that's very important because the faster you can be done with some aspects, the quicker you can do stuff that you enjoy more, such as going to the gym. Actually, nobody likes going to the gym, maybe some gym freaks, but I don't know, maybe you want to watch Netflix show or something like that. This tool can help you with that. What also can help you with that is learning how to drop ship on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. And right now I'm running a buy one course, get other one for free on the dropshippingyield.com. So I just recently created a new dropshipping course for eBay dropshippers. And I'm running a promo that if you buy the Facebook one, you also get the eBay one. So you're getting two courses for the price of one. You will also get access to our private Discord and community that we have over there. We have meetings over the voice chat every Thursday that you can chat to me 
other dropshippers. Sometimes we also bring guests. We had a lot of CEOs of different like dropshipping software companies, but also some influencers from YouTube and other venues of social media to talk about e-commerce, making money and stuff like that. And once you purchase the course, or I should say two, because right now you can buy two, you get all of that for the lifetime access forever. It's a really good deal. I think you should check it out and wait for my next video. If you want to get notified when the video is coming out, you know, subscribe to the channel, like the video, all of that. That'll be it for today. I'll see you next time. Take care.